if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would, we would decide to be lazy. We would decide to be lazy for a little while. Because in your giving yourself permission to be lazy, you're giving yourself permission to allow your grid to fill in with everything that you've already chosen and put into your vortex. The word lazy has an unpleasant connotation, doesn't it? Because it's humans measuring themselves against other humans based upon a flaw, pre flawed premise. And the flawed premise is the more you do, the more you're worth. And that is the most flawed of all flawed premises. I'd like to give you the premise that is at the basis of your universe. The better you feel, the more you allow. You could not be more deserving. You came as deserving beings into this time-space reality with powerful and clear intent. You've been mixing it up with others and defining what's important, not only to you personally, but important to you on behalf of others. You've included in your vortex a desire for the well-being of far more than your personal self. But it is necessary for you to tend to the well-being of your personal self in order to be a productive advocate for the well-being for anyone else. In other words, you cannot give or you cannot extend or you cannot punctuate or you cannot accentuate. You cannot assist anything that you are not already feeling. Which means if you are wanting in an altruistic way to be of advantage to everyone you know, you first have got to find a way to be of advantage to yourself. Which means you want to carve out more time to be nicer to yourself. More private time. More time under the bridge. More time where others are not telling you what to do. More time when you are satisfying your own personal intention for things. If we were standing in your physical shoes and someone were to ask you to do something, we would stop in the middle of the request and we would evaluate it completely. And we would say to them, I sincerely desire to accomplish this request that you are offering. And it is my expectation that I will be able to do that since I am in this relationship with you and you are requesting it of me, employer or mate or parent or child or whoever it is. It is my expectation that I will be able to accomplish this. I just have to insert one thing in the foreground of this request. I will accomplish it for you as long as I can first accomplish ease for myself in the process. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do these things every day and then anything else that you have time for. We would meditate for 15 minutes every day, which means we would quiet our mind with the simple intention of allowing our cork to float. We would go outside no matter what the weather and we'd move around in it in appreciation of this planet. We would look up and around and we would find things <coughs> to acknowledge and we would talk about them right out loud. Esther walks through her gardens and says to everything, you are my favorite, you are my favorite, you are my favorite, you are my favorite. You are my favorite stone on the pathway. You are my favorite bird in the tree. You are my favorite flower in bloom. You are my favorite flower not in bloom. You are my favorite tree. You are my favorite bush. You are my favorite frog. You are my favorite frog. You kept me awake all night, but you are still my favorite frog. In other words, so first thing, meditate. Second thing, spend more time outside. Third thing, we would buy a notebook. We would call it my book of positive aspects. And we would fill at least three, four, five is even better, pages of positive aspects. Five different subjects and write the positive aspects of it. Training your vibration into that upward place. And then there is one last thing that if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do every single day. We would look upward and outward. It's best if you do it outside or standing at a window. And we would acknowledge that there are universal forces that are focused right at you. We would acknowledge by calling it by name, if you have a name that you like. And we would say, I acknowledge that I am the object of your positive attention. 
and I'm appreciating your continual gaze on behalf of my well-being. And today, no matter where I am, no matter where I am going, no matter what I am doing, and no matter who I am doing it with, I will be in conscious awareness that you too are there with me, appreciating me, supporting me, assisting me, acknowledging me, inspiring me, guiding me, having fun with me, acknowledging me, supporting me, assisting me, inspiring me, helping me, guiding me, aware of me, loving me, showing me, inspiring me, guiding me, helping me, uplifting me, showing me, get into an endless loop of that acknowledgement and watch what begins to happen in your life as soon as this day.